Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to solve an expanded form and expanded notation problem, working it out style, which means I'm going to take you along as I think through my problem solving strategies. Let's get started. Okay, so first I like to just read the problem out once. Before I start working with the numbers, I just like to understand what it's about first. So this one today says that the population of Prosper, Texas is 41,752. Which of the following represents the population of Prosper? So it looks like I have different types of answer choices. That's interesting. I've got A, where it's just expanded form, so just the different numbers and adding them together, like decomposing a number. And then B looks like expanded notation, where it's showing four groups of 10,000 and then the, you know, the rest of the digits. And then C looks like another expanded form. And notice how I'm just kind of looking at them to investigate a little bit. I'm not really reading each choice super carefully because I'm gonna do that as I solve the problem. Okay, and then D is a little bit interesting. It's got, it looks kind of like a mix of both of them. So it has, you know, four, ten thousands. So it kind of looks like a word form of these two things of expanded form and expanded notation. So that's pretty cool. And um, now that I kind of understand just I read it once and I kind of think about what I read. So I know it's about the population of a place in Texas. Um, I know the actual population number and then I can start kind of working with that to figure out the problem. So let's read it one more time, and this time I'm gonna highlight some important stuff. So you see what you think is important in this problem. So I've got the population of Prosper, Texas is 41,752. What would you highlight there? Okay, awesome. The number would be a good thing to highlight. And it says, which of the following represents the population of Prosper? Okay, so now we can go ahead and get started by looking at some of these answer choices a little bit more closely. So I know that I want an answer choice that matches my number that I highlighted. So let's go over to the whiteboard to figure this out. All right, so before we start solving it on the whiteboard, I wanted to point out that for every word problem I do, I really like to, you know, especially if the problem is on a computer screen, I like to have a whiteboard or a piece of paper next to my computer so that I can jot down some things, try some strategies, and that way I'm not just picking a choice that looks good. I'm feeling really confident about the choice that I go with. So let me kind of walk you through what that would look like for this problem. So we have our population of Prosper right here. And I'm noticing that two of my answer choices, A and C, are both in expanded form. So I feel like that's a good first step is to just go ahead and write this in expanded form, see what we think about choice A and C. So let's start with the biggest place value. What is that for? What place is that in? Okay, awesome. It's the 10 thousands. Okay, so how much is that worth? What's the value of it then? If it's a four in the 10 thousands, what do you think? All right, so you probably have an answer in your head. Let's talk about 10 thousands. It's actually, it might sound intimidating, but it's actually kind of easy to count by 10 thousands 
because you know how to count by tens. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, right? But we can count by 10 thousands by saying 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, good, 40,000, and that's four of them. So I'm gonna write down here 40,000. All right, then what about the one? What place is the one in? Good, just the thousands. All right, and there's only one of them, so how much is that worth? Yeah, just 1,000. Okay, what about the seven? What place is that in? Awesome, the hundreds. And there's seven of them, so how much is that worth? What's the value of that? Got 100, 200, 300, all the way up to 700. Good job. I'm gonna write down here in the second row here. Okay, now let's do the five. What place is that? You got it, the tens. And there's five of them, so what would that be worth? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, good job. <clears throat> and the last one is that two. What place is the two in? The ones, and there's two of them, so what is that worth? Two, just two. Okay, now let's look at our choices. I see some that look pretty similar, so let's look at A. It has 40,000. Uh-oh. It's missing the 1,000. And then it has 750 and two, so it's really close. I feel like it was almost trying to trick us a little bit, make sure that we're really paying attention. So A, we can cross out. Now let's look at C. Okay, does it have 40,000? Oh no, it has 400,000. So that has the wrong amount for the four. So I'm glad we're paying close attention because look, the rest of it looks great. The 1,000 matches 752, but that very first number was wrong. So we have to cross out C also. All right, now I'm seeing the other choices looking like, well, B is in expanded notation. And so let's take this number and write it in expanded notation. And if you are needing any help with expanded form or expanded notation, if you need just my original lesson on that, then I have a lesson that I'll link below that's all about expanded notation and expanded form. So that would be great if you wanna go back to that one. Okay, so we've got four in the 10,000s place, right? So we know that's worth 40,000. You did a great job at that. When you do expanded notation, you write it like this. You say there are four groups of 10,000 and you just write it like that. It's just a way of showing how many of each place, okay? And then we're gonna put a plus sign, just like we do with expanded form, we put a plus sign, and then we do the next place. So there are one group of a thousand. Okay, and then we have seven. What do you think I'm gonna write for this one? groups of, you got it, and it's a hundred. Awesome, and then we're gonna get through the whole number here, five. What do you think? Groups of 10. And then the last one, we have how many? Two groups of one. 
So it's really just thinking about all the different place values. One, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. So I really like expanded notation. I feel like once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. Okay, so let's look at choice B then. Let's see if it matches. Does it say this first place value, the biggest one? Yes, it does. Does it say this place value? Yep. How about seven groups of 100? Yes. Five groups of 10? Yes. And two groups of one? Okay. Uh, B is looking pretty good, right? It matched in all those ways. Now, one thing I like to do, though, I know that we're, you know, we're probably going to go with B, but I like to go ahead and check that last choice just to make sure, okay? And I feel like we've, we could already just check it up here. So choice D says that there's four ten thousands. Is that true? Yes. Okay. Does it say there are one thousand? Oh, very tricky there. It says that there's one ten thousand. Is that true? No, there is one just thousand. And is there seven hundreds? Oh, okay. They kind of got off there. It's, it says seven thousand. But we know there's not a seven in the thousands place, so that can't be right. Does it say five tens. No, it says five hundreds. This one has more mistakes than the other ones. And two ones. Okay, that one is true, but these three are wrong. So we're going to go with choice B. All right, great job.